your exclusive home team sports with John Reynolds. Welcome back to SNN. Now, major names in sports flood the Sun Coast every May as it signals time for the annual Dick Vitale Gala. And every year, along with raising money to fight pediatric cancer, some of the sports world's finest are honored. Now, this year, two college basketball legends receive recognition for their courage and their spirit. If we'd had the technology we'd had today, you know, Coach Valvano may be still alive. It may be uh, really helping in this fight as well. So uh, we've made some breakthroughs. We've raised a lot of money. And Coach V would say, God's doing a great job, but we, we, can, we can do even better. Doing even better is the goal this gala season, as last year, Dick Vitale and the V Foundation raised a record $11.1 million to help fund pediatric cancer research. Courage and spirit are two defining words attached to Dick Vitale's legacy when you discuss his enthusiastic personality and you detail his own bouts with cancer. 1983 NCAA champion at NC State and one of the founding V Foundation board members, Derek Wittenberg, has seen cancer stricken loved ones firsthand. Now his experience notably is with the V Foundation founder and Wittenberg's former head coach, Jim Valvano. Wittenberg was involved in one of the sport's most iconic moments when NC State won the title at the buzzer over Houston in 1983. A moment that lives on in highlight reels forever, but it's a moment that also started a legacy of helping those in need. 40 years ago, it's a group of ordinary kids from all walks of life that achieved something nobody thought we could do. And then 10 years later, our leader and our coach was diagnosed with cancer and uh, he left us. But he left us with a tremendous legacy of trying to help people. And so the 83 championship day was the origin of the V Foundation. The now NC State Hall of Famer, ambassador, and assistant athletic director is being honored at this year's gala with the John Saunders Courage Award. Wittenberg receiving this award is no coincidence, as he and the late Saunders were no strangers to one another, both having served on the V Foundation board since its inception. John was an outstanding journalist. Uh, very smart, uh, did a great job for ESPN, loved his family, honored to uh, receive the award in, in his name. Uh, he was a great friend, and uh, we miss him dearly. While the gala honors Wittenberg's courage, it also, for the first time, will bestow the Dick Vitale Spirit Award, and the inaugural recipient is Tennessee men's basketball coach Rick Barnes. During Dickie V's battle with lymphoma last year, Barnes made headlines nationwide for sending Vital daily prayers and scriptures filled with encouragement for the fighting face of college basketball. A devout Catholic in Vital never imagined a simple request of prayer from Barnes would be met with such reverent and persistent commitment. One day he said to me, he texted me, he said, you don't have to do this. I said, no, it's, this is good for me too. It's brought me closer to the Lord. And, and uh, so getting the award... It was based on praying for him and with along with thousands of other people. I would say it truly is maybe the, the most wonderful award that I've ever received. The Tennessee Vols head coach says the Spirit Award should be Vitals to win every year as he embodies the definition of the word. Bonding through their faith, Barnes and Dickie V exchanged messages daily with Dickie V inevitably beating his cancer last year. One of my prayers was a hey, make sure that you use dick in a great way let his light continue to shine and with all that he was going through not one time did that light ever flicker i mean his light was shining great for the lord great for his you know his beliefs in trying to fight cancer and um, i think he would tell you the same thing and both Barnes and Wittenberg will be rewarded for their efforts this Friday at the 18th annual Dick Vitale Gala. Now, Donald, appreciate this. Mr. Wittenberg also made sure upon exiting our conversation today that the world and myself should never forget this stat. He is the only person to ever outscore the great Michael Jordan every time they faced one another in their careers. Every single game he outscored MJ, so he just wanted to let the world know that. So I thought I'd do my due diligence and let you know that today right here on SNN. How about that? Now, SNN continues its coverage of the Dick Vitale Gala tomorrow as we hear from event MC, former Sarasota sports anchor and ESPN mainstay Kevin Nagandi, as well as the man himself, Dick Vitale. Again, that's tomorrow only exclusively on SNN.